Well, hi, I'm Matt McCourt, and uh, here we are again, and it's a dark day in the Rose City. I just learned that uh, Chris Newman, the guitar player from Napalm Beach, Snowbud, uh, I met Chris in the Untouchables when we were playing at the Long Goodbye, Tony DiMicola's club, in 1980, and uh, we did a lot of gigs. Uh, he had Sean Carter on drums, who later played with the Bang Gang with Scott Earl from Culprit, and uh, Dave Koenig, and... Uh, He's he does a Blues Brothers thing in Florida, I think at Universal Studios. But uh, I always remember, I remember the Pink Stratocaster and uh, Go Little Caveman, Caveman Go. And I always thought he was singing about Dave because Dave Koenig looked like a, a caveman. It's, Chris would come to my house after a gig at the Long Goodbye, my mom's house. My mom was buying a boxes of steak and lobster and I said hey you can stay at my house it's a shorter drive than Longview because we just lived over the hill and uh, we'd make steak and lobster at three o'clock in the morning <laughs> it was great man and uh, uh, you know we um, when uh, the untouchables got a gig at the Paramount opening for April wine and uh, they were supposed to play at the Met the Metropolis was a was a gay club, underage gay club, where Dante's is now. And he called me up and said, hey, do you want to do this? And I said, sure. And he said, well, you know, it's a gay club. I said, that doesn't bother me. And uh, we all had a great time down there. And uh, still there's a, a girl named Tracy Harvey who was named Tracy something before that. But I still am friends with her. And, uh, man, yeah, the Met was a wild place. We played there <laughs> Back by popular demand. We were called the Penny Traders back then, which was uh, later turned into the Ravers because the record label didn't really like the name. <laughs> and uh, so it was the same band then with Brad and Dave. But uh, Chris, uh, Chris was a legend in Portland forever. And he did the same kind of thing all the time. He didn't had a number of bands. And uh, the, the, the Ravers guy, Andy McKay, Really liked them better than he liked me. And he wanted to get... I took him down to see The Untouchables a number of times. But their manager said, no, you'll have to sign away your rights, which you do with any kind of deal. And uh, you split it with the record label so they have an interest. And he was ready to move them to New York. The guy had a lot of juice and could have really made something of him in 1980. But there's, I remember their, their manager, this woman said, no, you can't do that. And, well, the rest is you know, history. You know, shit happens in the music industry, and uh, you just keep on going. And Chris kept on going. And uh, I, I played a gig with Roz Rezebeck. I was a drummer with Roz Rezebeck's band, and uh, Jimmy Haskett was on guitar. Jimmy was the guy who texted me this morning to tell me what the deal was, and uh, I had no clue. So I just decided to come downstairs and make a little video and say, we miss you, Chris. We love you, Chris. And you were a great man. And uh, I saw him having heart surgery not too long ago. And hope, hey, back on the mend, back on the track, and ready to rock and roll. But, uh, man, I'll tell you, this is getting old. You read about the national people dying all the time. But, I mean, I have 169 now, 170 friends who are dead friends. Most of them locally um, one got hit by a train by suicide, only 16 ODs, mostly cancer and uh, heart attacks. And uh, mostly the cancer are all from Oregon. But uh, so don't move here unless you want to die. It's, uh, it's just I'm getting really tired of this. So, uh, wow, they're cutting a swath through our bunch, you know. My mom doesn't know that many people that died. She knows a lot of people. And she's 84, and uh, I don't know what else to say, really. It's, uh, I just want to let people know, and uh, rest in peace, dude. And uh, it was great having steak and lobster with you in the middle of the night. And uh, it was great playing at Tony DiMicola's club when punk and new wave were like, you know, the brand new thing, and it was a new deal. And before anybody got too messed up on, on various substances, but... Uh, that's the way it is here in the rainy city. I think uh, Chris hails from Longview. We played a gig with Wild Dogs in Longview at the uh, convention center with uh, Napalm Beach, Wild Dogs, 
and uh, the band that was an offshoot of A Lost, another Longview band that I knew. And uh, wow, man, that was 40 years ago. It seems like not that long ago, but uh, it is. And uh, I can just say keep on going. And best wishes to you in the next life.